welcome to day four of our travels. We are on Lake Dubnet. I don't know how to say it, but that's how I say it. Um, one thing we have found because we went to camp um, and you're trying to find campgrounds that are open all year is equestrian campgrounds. Places where you can bring your horses. They're open all year so far that we've seen. Uh, if you look behind me, nobody here. It is pretty crazy with RV sales through the roof. If you guys are worried about overcrowding this, spend a little extra money making sure you can boondock uh, and winter camp and then you'll have peace and quiet if that's what you after. Last night uh, nothing eventful, it was pretty muddy here because it did rain the day before. Looks like things have dried up. Uh, we did take like a two mile drive down a very muddy road. No problems as far as getting stuck, but you know, a little sliding around there. But you, I, yeah, I definitely would not recommend this campsite unless you have four wheel drive um, or unless it is super dry. But anyways, you'll see that footage when we leave because I'll put a, a GoPro on the outside. It might all be frozen because it got down to cold temps last night. Tonight's getting down to 21. We are heading over the Mackinac Bridge tonight. Oh, Mackinac, I keep forgetting. Uh, well, later today. Uh, it is still 30 mile an hour winds, so they say you go about 20 miles an hour across the bridge. You have to put all your flashes on. But anyways, this is our camp spot. I'm gonna get some drone footage right now. I did park all the way down here last night which was pretty cool, but the campsite was not that level. We still aren't 100% level there, but it was getting late and we wanted to just sit and play card games. Anyways, I'm gonna do some drone footage, show you around, and then we're gonna head up uh, through Traverse City, all the way up uh, through Lake Charlevoix, and then up until uh, the UP. So, stick around. So an ex escort uh, is now leading us. It's a black truck with arrows on the back. There's about five cars behind us. Um, but anyways, this is cool. Look at that, look at the left. It's all ice and to the right it's all melted. Here we are at Hog Island Campground. I must say this might be the one of the most epic sites uh, so far. Uh, we're the only ones here. Again, a benefit from winter camping. I would definitely not recommend doing anything I do unless you have four-wheel drive, not all-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive low. Because um, most of these sites, they're not maintained, super icy, super snowy i do keep chains with me in case of bad things i do have winches for the front and the rear of my camper um, because also most of the time if you get stuck 
no one can actually come save you, not even a, a tow truck, because they aren't equipped to go in the places where I'm trying to go. But anyways, uh, we just finished a lunch. We are going to walk to the entrance to pay for our spot here. I'm in no rush to do that because uh, no one's here. But uh, then we're gonna have a fire, play some games. So if you guys don't or aren't familiar with Great Lakes when they're frozen, this is normally just where the waves break. So this is all ice. The beach would be right here. And there's, pl there's plenty of sites here, uh, but not one person here. And it is a Friday night, uh, but it's gonna get down to 21 degrees tonight. But we're well equipped. So four days so far, I run our uh, cooking. We only cook, uh, we cook every night and every lunch with gas. And then we have the propane uh, heater and then the water heater. Yeah, so we use propane for all heat. We don't use, we use the microwave every now and then, the inverter can run that. We don't use the electric water heater. Um, and it's been somewhat cold this trip and we have used about 55% of 130 pound tank. Uh, and we're four days in. Today would be the end of day four. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So we should be good for the rest of the trip. And if not, propane is pretty cheap up here. Um, everything by me is super expensive. But uh, anyways, that's fine. We got plenty of propane, but I'm gonna get my fire pit out of there. I like using my solo stove. I'll check in with you guys later. Mm -hmm.